Welcome to Cavaletta Studios. I'm Chris. Today's yoga will consist of a vinyasa flow to challenge your body. Our class starts with a few deep stretches, slowly moving into a flow and transitioning into asana holds. So grab your mat and let's get started. We'll begin in child's pose, knees apart, feet together. Let's start to walk our hands out in front. Palms are down and just gently start to lower your belly between your thighs, your head towards the floor. Maybe using your palms to press into the mat and push your hips further back towards your heels. And then find your breath. As you're breathing in and out through the nose, think about letting go of any tension on that exhale. If you need to shift your hips slightly to get better adjusted or make it feel better on the back or the hips. Think about your practice today. As we go through our vinyasa flow to just be mindful of what feels okay to you and give your body time to warm up and ease into each posture. One more breath. Then we're gonna lift the head off the floor and you're gonna take the right hand and you're just gonna slide it underneath the left arm so you can lower to that right shoulder, wiggling those right fingers and then reach that left arm way overhead to the front of your mat. Just feel that nice stretch. Just let the arms wake up, feel that stretch, letting go of any tightness or tension, whether, you, whether this is in the morning or in the afternoon for you. Maybe you've been sitting or using the arms today, working out or some other activity. And then bring the left hand close into the head, use it to come up, pressing into the floor, reach your right arm out front, left arm underneath, palm up, lower to the left shoulder, and then really reach that right arm up in front of you. Wiggle those left fingers, notice the difference on this side. Feel that stretch. One more breath. And then you'll bring your right hand in close, slowly coming up, bringing both hands onto the floor. Reach them out front so you can shift your body forward. Bring your shoulders over your wrist and draw your knees in underneath your hips for tabletop. And then press into the tops of the feet. Lift the head, lift the heart and the tailbone, arch the back. Take a breath in, pull the shoulders away from the ears, and then exhale, round. Rounding through the back, exhaling, pushing into the hands and the feet. And then inhale, lift, open and arch. Pull those shoulders down. Exhale, round, cat cow. And inhale, lift and open. And then exhale, round. And inhale, last one. Arching the back. And then exhale, find your neutral spine. Spread out those fingers. Level out your body weight. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Now the first thing we're gonna do is take the right toe and press it into the back of the mat. Lengthening through that right leg and maintain a not tall posture, spine is straight, start to lift your right leg off the floor. Now I want you to point your right toe and lift the leg as high as you can comfortably without rounding through the hips. So you want to, or curving or stacking the hips. I want you to keep them level, but just lift that right leg. And feel the warmth 
and the glute, the leg, it's working, it's warming up. One more breath, and then bring that knee back to the floor. Check in with those shoulders, they're pulled away from the ears. Tuck your left toe into the back of the mat. Stabilize that mid torso, pull the core in tight. Lift that left foot off the floor. Keep your body hips level. Point your left foot and lift it up. And just hold it there. Feel the warmth that the muscles are building heat. You're breathing. Lift a little higher and then bring that knee to the floor. Now we're going to go to the left hand. I want you to reach that left hand to the front of your mat. Thumb is up. Take your right leg, extend it to the back wall, extended tabletop. Good. And then bend your right knee. Now maybe you just stay there and reach your left hand back. See if maybe you can hold on to the foot or the ankle of your right leg. And then start to kick your foot into your hand and look forward. And extend. Find your breath. One more breath, and then you're going to extend the hand and the leg to the front and back, extended tabletop, hand and knee to the floor. Extending your right hand to the front of the mat, thumb is up. Extend your left leg to the back. Option to bend the knee. Reach your right hand back, and maybe that's plenty and you just push your heel to the sky, or you can hold your foot, kick your foot into your hand, look forward, open that heart, Find your breath, opening up the front of the body, breathing in and out through the nose, and then extend arm and leg to the front and back of the mat, relax those shoulders, and then hand, hand and knee to the floor, and round through the back, cat stretch, exhale, inhale, lift and open, and then exhale round and inhale, open, tucking your back toes, walk your hands slightly forward and lifting to a downward facing dog. And then pedal out your feet, walk your dog, spread out those fingers. Now you're gonna melt your left foot into the floor, bring your right leg up, bend the knee and circle it around. Loosening up through the hip, and then change direction. Extend that leg up, point the toe, three-legged dog, and then bring that foot between the hands, lower to your left knee on the floor. You can have a blanket or a pillow under that knee, and then walk your hands up onto the thigh. So you're in a kneeling lunge, so that left knee is on the floor. You're gonna reach the arms up, Extend, stretching through that left hip flexor. Good, bend the elbows, cactus arms, looking up, breathing in, and then exhale all the way back to the floor. Good, you're gonna send your right foot back to three-legged dog, and then bring your foot to the floor. Extend your left leg up, bend your knee and circle the knee, loosen up the hip and then change direction, three-legged dog, and then bend the knee, bring the foot between the hands, lower your right knee to the floor, walk your hands up the thigh for a kneeling lunge. Option to reach your hand, right hand to the sky or left or both, one or the other, option to open to cactus arms, finding your breath, opening up the front of the body. One more breath, and then we're gonna exhale all the way back to the floor, hands on the floor. Lift that back knee, send your left leg up, three-legged dog, and then both feet come down, pedal out your feet, walk your dog. Melt your heels towards the floor, bending the knees slightly, palms into the mat, pushing your hips up and back. Look at your knees or your toes and your down dog. Think about spreading out those shoulder blades, pulling the, them away from the, the back of the neck, finding your breath. 
Rise up into the toes, back into the feet, heels. Good, let's take that right leg up, three-legged dog. Are you gonna bend the knee? Bring that foot between the hands. We're gonna come up to crescent lunge. Lifting up, lengthening through that back leg. And then we're gonna exhale, slowly come back down. Send that right leg all the way back to three-legged dog. And then bring that foot again between the hands. Pivot into warrior one, all the way up. And then exhale back down. Send that leg all the way up. It's coming through again between the hands. Pivot to warrior two. Windmill it up, extend. Check in with that front leg. Building heat in the body. Windmill it back down. Step back to plank, nice and strong. Rock onto the toes, chaturanga, lowering down nice and slow, right above the floor, and then belly on the floor, untuck the toes, lift just the chest, lift the hands off the floor, find your breath, baby cobra, and then press the hands into the floor, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Find your breath. We're going to take the left leg up, three-legged dog. We're going to bend the knee, and we're going to bring that foot between the hands. Find your crescent lunge, lifting up. Good. Find your balance, lengthening. Another inhale, and then exhale, fold all the way back down. Send that left leg all the way back up, three-legged dog. And then bring it back through. Finding warrior one. Find your balance, lengthening. And then all the way slowly back down. Send that left leg back up, three-legged dog. And then it's gonna come back through the hands again. Warrior two. Windmill it up, extending, looking over that left hand. Shoulders back and down. Make sure your knee is over your ankle, you're breathing. And then we windmill it all the way back to the floor. Left leg back, three-legged dog. And then both legs come back to the floor. Find your downward facing dog. And breathe. Take your right leg up, three-legged dog. Extend that right leg a little higher. Bend the knee, bring your foot between the hands. We're gonna find our crescent lunge again. Lifting up, lengthening shoulders down and back, opening those arms. Good, pivot into the back foot, find your warrior one. So both hips facing the front, make those adjustments, move that back foot if needed, pushing into the outer edge of that left foot. Option to bring the hands together, lengthening, biceps to the ears, bending into that front knee a little deeper. Opening to warrior two, lengthening, check in with that back leg. Maybe your toe inches forward, you're bending your front knee over the ankle. Relax those shoulders as you extend and look over the right fingertips. Check in with your big toe that you can see your big toe on the right. Find your breath. Reach your right palm up. Start to lean forward just enough that you can comfortably reverse your warrior, lengthening. Reach towards your back thigh, look up at the hand or forward, finding your breath. Now we're gonna windmill both hands all the way back to the floor. Step back to plank, nice and strong plank, pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then we're gonna chaturanga, elbows in, slowly lowering to the floor, control, inhale, up dog or cobra, whatever feels good to you. And then downward facing dog. Find your breath. 
melt into it. Soften the knees, press into those palms, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Knees are soft. Up into the toes, back into the heels. Lift that left leg, three-legged dog. Lift it a little higher. Bend the knee, bring it between the hands. Finding your crescent lunge. Coming up, lengthening, shoulders relaxed, thumbs face the back. And you're breathing. Find your breath. Feel the shoulders pull back and down. Pivot onto your back outer edge of your foot, finding your warrior one. Make those adjustments even if you have to if you, if you have to hop the foot forward or back or out. Option to bring the palms together, bending into that front knee a little deeper. Finding your breath. Like give your body time to adapt to that posture. And then we're going to revolve to warrior two. Open it up, rotating so your hips go from the front of the mat to the side of the mat. Extend the arms to the front and back. Look over those left fingertips. Go ahead. Make sure the toes, everything's in alignment. You can see your big toe on the left. You're breathing. Draw those shoulders back and down. Flip your left palm up. Reach forward and then reverse. Reaching to the back thigh, lengthening, looking up. Keeping that left knee open. One more breath, and then we're going to windmill it all the way to the floor. Step back to plank. Nice and strong, pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then very slowly, chaturanga, lowering down. Keep it strong. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath here and just breathe. Inhale and exhale. Now from here, we're going to take the feet and I want you to walk them as wide as your mat. So you're standing on the edges of your mat on the outside, inside edges, I should say. So you're not off your mat. Good, go up into the toes, walk them a little forward, and then melt your heels, bend your knees, and then walk your hands backwards. So your hands and knees come close together. You're gonna start to lower your hips so you're parallel to the floor, but you don't want your hips past your knees. And then start to lift your hands straight forward. So you're in a wide squat, reaching those arms forward. And breathe. Hold that that posture, pull the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the spine, and just breathe here. Lift the toes, you're almost there. And then exhale, hands to floor, straighten out the legs. Good, inhale the arms up, sweep them together, and then back to palms to heart. Nice and tall, relax your shoulders. Now from here, I want you to just turn to face me. And you're gonna take your feet very wide. Very wide. Go ahead. Are we there? Good. Now, extend the arms straight out to the side, palms face the floor. <sighs> Relax. Now from here, you're going to bend your right knee. You're gonna to start to Hinge your hips, and this is where, if you have a block, you might want to grab a block, and you're going to have a block right here in front. You're going to pull your left foot toe off the floor, and you're going to rock off of your heel onto the ball of your foot. So again, maybe holding a block, be mindful if you have knee issues, and just feeling that nice stretch through the ankle. Find your balance. We're balancing on the ball of the foot there. And you can, again, use those, the block if you need it so the knee is way out front. Now you're going to pivot onto the other side. So bring the hands to the floor. Bring your right heel back to the floor, left heel 
comes, toe comes down, shift, rock onto the ball of the foot, find your balance, extend your right leg out to the side, heel up on the floor, toe is up. And finding your balance. You might notice a difference in each ankle. One might be tighter than the other. Finding that balance. Go ahead, bring the hands on the inside of the knee. Bring the hands to the floor. Find your center. Go ahead and just wait. bend and straighten both legs. And then we're going to rock again. Bend that right knee. Start to pull your left toe off the floor as you shift into your right heel and hip. So your hip is balancing on your heel. Now here, see if you can maybe bring a hand to heart. Maybe the other one. Maybe both. It's very wobbly. I don't stay up very long on that. But it's possible, or just one, or use that block. And then we're going to bring both hands on the inside of that knee. Pivot to the other side. So make those adjustments. Shifting onto the ball of the foot, spreading out those toes. Pull your right toe up, finding that balance. Maybe hand to heart. Again, maybe using the block to sit as tall as you can in the spine. Maybe just one hand or none. One side's always easier than the other. Good. From here, bring both hands to the middle, place them on the floor, straighten out the legs, pivot towards the front of your mat, and bring both feet together to a forward fold. And just hang out here for a moment. Inhale, half lift, lengthen hands on the shins, flat back, and then let's exhale, fold, and then step both feet back, find your plank, nice and strong. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Using that, using your strength, your core, rock onto the toes. Let's shift to our downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, walk your dog. Melt your hips up and back. Now you're gonna take your right leg up, three-legged dog. Let's bring that right foot forward. Find your crescent. We're adding on here, lifting up, lengthening. Pivot into warrior one, drawing the palms together. Heel on that back leg on the floor, bending into your front right knee. Open to warrior two. Two, lengthening, relax those shoulders. Check in with your right toe that you can see it. Look over your right fingers. Find your breath. Flip your right palm up. Reach it forward. Reverse your warrior. Reach for your back thigh. See how low you can slide your arm down that leg. Try to keep your right knee open, not collapsing in. You can look forward or up at your right hand reaching up and over. And we're going to add from here forearm to thigh. Find your side angle, left arm to the sky. Option to go a little lower. Finding your breath. Take your top arm now. Reach it over your ear to the front. Do the best that you can. Finding your breath. Option to lift the bottom arm and reach it forward as well. Maybe even touch the fingers. Find your breath and then windmill both hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Hold the plank, lengthen. Find your posture. Shoulders pulled away from the ears, rock onto the toes. Slowly lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just hang out here, relax the shoulders, catch your breath, 
Check in with your posture. Your heels are melted towards the floor. Your knees are soft or slightly bent. Pushing your palms into the mat to send your hips higher. And let's take that left leg up, three-legged dog. Bring that foot between the hands. Find your crescent. Lifting. Opening things up. Crescent lunge, finding your balance. Pivoting into warrior one. Planting that foot on the floor, bending into that left knee, bringing the palms together as an option. Biceps to the ears. Breathing. You got this. And then warrior two, opening it up. Relax the shoulders. Check in with your left toe. Make sure you can see it. And the knee is not collapsing in, but opening up. Find your breath. Good. Flip your left palm up, reaching forward, reverse. Sliding your right hand down that back leg, reaching your left arm overhead, finding your breath. And then side angle, forearm to thigh, right arm to the sky, lifting and opening. Keeping those shoulders stacked. Option to lower to the floor. Lengthening another option, reach your right arm over your head to the front. Another option to lift the bottom arm, even have the fingers touch. And then release. Hands on the floor and step back to plank, nice and strong. And then separate your knees, feet together, child's pose. Let's pause and rest in child's pose, melting your head to the floor, belly between the thighs, arms out front. Good, one more breath. Spreading out those fingers, lift the head. Slide back into downward facing dog. Take your right leg up, three legged dog. And then we're gonna slide into pigeon. Bringing your right knee towards your right wrist. Slide your left leg back. Trying to keep your hips as level as possible. If you need to sit on a block to assist, feel free. And then walk your hands forward melting towards the floor. So the top of your left knee and your left foot is on the floor. Finding your breath. Your head can be on the floor or on your hands. You can even reach your arms out if you want. And just feel that nice stretch in the hip and the glute and the hamstring. One more breath. And then you'll bring the hands close to the shins and walk yourself up, open up, and just press into the top of your left foot. See if you can lift that left knee slightly off the floor, really feeling that stretch through the front of that left hip. And then you're gonna tuck your toes under on the left foot and gently tuck and slide your right leg back, find your plank. Feel that release of blood flow into the leg, and then lift those hips, downward facing dog. Melt those hips back and up. Melt your right foot into the floor, extend the left leg up, three-legged dog. And bend the knee, you can bring that knee in, pigeon on the other side. One side might be easier than the other. Maybe you have to shift your hips side to side, maybe sitting on a block if that hip doesn't go to the floor, and then melt yourself forward. So the top of your right knee is on the floor and your right foot, you can always do a reclining pigeon where you lay on your back and just do a figure four. Find your breath. Notice what's going on in the body here. Good. 
Tune in to the inhale and the exhale. Letting go of any tension. And then we're slowly going to come up. Walk your hands in close to the shin, lengthening through the spine. Feel that right hip flexor stretching out. Tucking your back toe, sliding back to a full plank. From your full plank here, we're going to walk it down to the elbow. So we're going to come into an elbow plank. And I want you to hip, hip hinge up, slide your hips up, and then slide back into that elbow plank. Adjust your toes as needed, and then shift up, and then back into that elbow plank. Two more times, shift up, pushing into the heels, and then back, and one last time, shift up, checking in with that shoulder stability, and then back to plank, and then lower the belly to the floor. Walk your elbows slightly forward to find your sphinx. Pressing the palms into the floor, lengthening through the spine, like you're gonna draw yourself forward, dragging yourself. Good, and maybe bring the head down, bring the chest down, rock your hips side to side, bring your legs a little further apart and then lengthen and lift again. Option to lengthen in the arms, pressing up. Some of you might be able to walk your hands in closer and go a little higher. Be mindful of your low back. And then we're slowly gonna roll all the way down. And you're gonna slide your right arm under your chin. And you're gonna take your left hand back next to your hip, bend your left knee and reach for your left foot. And you're gonna pull your left heel towards your glute, really stretching through the thigh. Now option to press your right hand into the mat, lift your upper body, and then you can even start to kick your hand, your foot into your hand, extending through that whole left side of the body. So half bow and then slowly lower back down. Give that forehead to the hand, give that foot a squeeze towards the glute and then draw your knees together. Breathe in and breathe out and then release that left foot. Bring your left hand under your forehead. Bring your right hand back. Bend your right knee, grabbing hold of your foot pulling your heel towards your glute. And just notice the difference here. Maybe one quad or hip is tighter than the other. Option to press into the floor, lifting the upper body, kicking into that right hand with the foot, opening things up, finding your breath. And then lower your upper body, Pull the heel to the glute, bring the knees closer together, and then release. Now from here, you're going to bring your hands both towards the back hip, reaching backwards, looking your, your head is looking at the floor, your nose towards the floor, bend both knees. Now option to grab both feet. If it's not happening for you, just do one at a time. Start to lift the chest. Open up, then start to kick the feet into the hands, lifting them above the head. And breathe for bow. Find your breath. One more breath. And then we lower all the way back down. Ah, hands next to the body, turn your right ear to the floor and just let your body rebound, your muscles relax. And then turn your head so your left ear's on the floor, stretching through the neck. And then bring both hands next to the rib cage, lifting and turning your head towards the mat. Use your arms to press yourself up, sliding back into child's pose, knees apart, feet together, Stretching it out, pushing your 
Hips towards your heels, palms on the floor. Find your breath. One more breath. And then we're going to come up. You're going to either cross your feet or bring them to the side. And you're going to straighten out the legs in front, coming to your dandasana, your staff or stick pose. Nice and tall. You're going to pull your right knee into the chest. Give it a squeeze. Flex your left leg. And just take your left arm and wrap it around that right knee. Lengthen and twist. Find your breath. And then we come back through the center. Release the knee. Let it fall open to the side. The bottom of your foot can go against your thigh or your knee or the shin. Whatever feels good to you. Inhale both arms up and then exhale. Reach for those left toes or the shin or just have the hands on the floor. Lengthening and an option to drop your nose to your knee and find your breath. And just notice where you're feeling this. Maybe it's hamstring, maybe it's calf, maybe it's more on the right side of your low back. One more breath, and then we're going to walk the hands on the floor so we can come and sit up nice and tall. Pull that right knee in and extend it back out. Pull the left knee in. Let's give it a squeeze so the foot is on the floor right on the inside of the thigh. Take your right arm, wrap it around, and then left arm behind, lengthen and twist. Flex your right ankle. Just give it a squeeze, so we're mushing the belly into the thigh. And you're going to release and let that foot fall open. Let that knee, so the bottom of the foot is by your thigh or your knee, lengthening through the spine. Right ankle is flexed. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Reaching for the foot, ankle, shin, or the floor, whatever works for you. Lengthening through the spine and adding the head later. Just notice the difference. One side might be much easier than the other. Just appreciate what the body can do for us. Melting a little deeper. And then bring the hands to the floor. Walk them all the way up. And then bring both legs forward, lengthening through the spine. Dandasana, flex those feet. See about pulling those heels off the floor. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold, reach for those toes. Relax the shoulders, lengthening through the spine. Feel, if, feel the belly pushing forward. Bend the elbows and then start to draw the head. If you have any issues in the low back, never force it. I still have that lovely bulging disc, so I don't go as far. I just keep my spine straight and draw the head down. And then inhale, rise, reach arms up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Now bring both hands to the floor. Slide your body forward so your hips are on the floor up towards the front of your mat. You have room behind you to lay back when we are there and ready to go down to the mat. Heels on the floor, toes up. Now you're going to find your boat pose. You are welcome to hold on to the shins, the back of the thighs, or reach the arms, lengthening, shoulders come back down. Option to lift the legs and hold on, or even let go. Bring your knees and feet together, relax those shoulders, and breathe. Embrace any shakiness that's going on there. Maybe opening up the arms to crescent arms, cactus arms. And then rotate to your left. Find your breath. Maybe extend those legs. And then rotate to the other side. And you can have the knees bent or straight. And then back to center. We're going to hug the knees, see if we can keep the feet from touching the floor. Nice big breath, and then exhale, feet come to the floor. Go ahead and slowly lower yourself all the way down. 
And then when you get to the floor, walk your feet in so they're nice and close to your hips, maybe reaching your fingers towards your ankles or your heels. Spread out those fingers on the floor. And then we're gonna draw up those hips, lifting to a bridge, lengthening through the spine. Have those knees in alignment with the hip bones. Not clap opening, but not collapsing all the way in. Find your breath. Inhale the arms to the sky. Palms face each other. Reach those fingers all the way over your head. Lengthening through that spine a little more. And then exhale, lower the hips, bring the hands all the way back down. Pull your right knee into the chest, give it a squeeze and extend your left leg to the front of your mat, flexing both feet. We're gonna hold on to the right knee or shin with the left hand and pull it across the body. To the left, reach your right arm out and turn your head to look to the right side. And find your breath, inhale and exhale. Just enjoy that nice twist. Feel the shoulders relaxing. Melting a little deeper into your posture, into that twist. And then head to center, slowly bringing the knee back to the chest. Give it a squeeze. And then pull your left knee into the chest, right leg extends out, flexing the feet. Now your right hand is gonna be on the left knee or shin. And you're gonna take your left arm out to the side like a T, and you're gonna pull your right left leg over to the right. And look to the left. Just enjoy that twist. Notice the difference on this side compared to the other. One more breath. And then we'll bring that knee back to center. Give it a hug, bring both knees into the chest. Separate the knees and then bring them all the way together. Extend them up to the sky. And then we're gonna continue holding that right thigh and extend the left leg slowly to the floor. All the way, so both legs are straight. And then when it gets to the floor, we'll flex the feet, maybe walk the hands higher up that calf, rotate that right ankle. And then change direction. Probably maybe light, nice and loose now. Point and flex that foot. Maybe grab a hold of that toe. You can always use a strap or a towel. And then we're going to keep, release the toe, keep it up, use the core muscles, place the hands on the floor, point your left toe and lift it all the way back up. So when both legs come up, then you're gonna hold the left thigh and let the right leg slowly come down. And when it gets to the floor, flex those feet and then walk the hands up the calf, rotate that ankle and change direction. Option, maybe to grab hold of the toe Find your breath. And then we let go of the toe, keep that leg up, hands come next to the body. Point your right toe, use those core muscles to lift the right leg all the way back up. Both legs to the sky, flex those feet. Reach the hands behind the thighs or the calves, lift nose to knee. And then exhale down, hug the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze and then place both feet flat on the floor. Walk your heels towards your hands. 
pressing into a bridge, lengthening. Option to interlace the fingers, walking the shoulders underneath, pressing the fingers towards your heels. Don't let your knees drop open. Think about drawing them into alignment, but not touching. And breathing, opening up that chest heart space. And then we'll start to release the fingers. Walk the shoulders out from under. Slowly lower one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. Reaching the arms overhead and extending the legs. Full body stretch. And then extend the arms back down by the hips. Let the legs separate and fall open for your Shavasana. Walk those shoulders wide and out if you are comfortable. Close your eyes. And we just tune in to our breath. Notice how the body feels. Maybe there's energy running all over the body from all your nice hard work. The muscles are warm. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And slowly let it out through the mouth. Do that again and let a calmness wash over the body, letting go of anything not serving you. Inhale. And exhale. And just let your body just melt to the mat. Feel your head connecting to the earth. Your hips your legs, your feet. One more breath. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. You're welcome just to stay relaxed in Shavasana. Or you can turn to whatever side feels good to you. Maybe give your knees a squeeze. And then work your way up to a seated posture, a Sukhasana, an easy seat. Lengthening through the spine, draw the chin in, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Closing the eyes for a moment. Check in with how you're feeling. Always good to connect with the body. Reach the arms out to the side. Inhale, the palms up. Look up at the hands. Exhale, palms to heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.